Leeds uh, as a city, very attractive. When you look at it in comparison to many other cities across the north of England, even from the Midlands up, um, it has a very diverse range of demographics. Um, it's a huge number of jobs in, in the business environment. So a lot of accountancies, a lot of legal firms are all based up in Leeds. They're big offices, um, a lot of white collar jobs in that basis. And, and what really attracts us as, as Hamson is a retail REIT. The company specializes in looking at new retail space in city centres is that you currently have the Trinity Centre, a wonderful new scheme that looks after family and also that sort of young fashion end of the market. You have the Marion St John's Centre that look after another end of the market and then you get to the point of the Brigitte that leads on to the Victoria Quarter and the Victoria Quarter is within our ownership. Now that's an aspirational premium, almost, or should I say, luxury um, environment. A uh, listed building made up of Harvey Nicks and Louis Vuitton. So what we've tried doing is building on that luxury aspirational market, building on the demographic of the city, uh, the Golden Triangle area of York and Harrogate, and recreating the Victoria Quarter, which is, in a sense, a Victorian arcade, recreating these arcades in a modern take and we've been doing that um, with the John Lewis building and John Lewis will anchor at one end where Harvey Nicks anchors at the other end. So we're currently coming in around half a million square feet um, for, for those of the old school language. Um, it's predominantly made up of a large John Lewis. Now it is going to be the largest John Lewis outside of London, um, larger than the one recently opened in Birmingham uh, so we're quite proud of that. Um, the rest is made up of some 30 plus other tenants uh, and there's a casino, probably seven or eight restaurants and then 20 something retailers. Um, and as mentioned, they're all going to be aspirational to premium retail. Um, the construction project is coming in at circa 100 million on, on the phase one scheme. Um, phase two does sit on the other side of the road and to date um, we're still working through a master plan to deliver that. So. Um, probably worth noting the current plans have that in about half a billion pound investment overall. But sticking with phase one which opens next year, um, the actual gross development value is probably coming at about 150 million. So you know, all in all, a very sizable investment into the city of Leeds.